Hello, this is Barry, and you're watching Barry and the P.I. Uh, it's, uh, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon, and it's about time for it to rain, so that's why I'm sitting up here in the uh, Sometimes when I get to, don't have much to do, I get to I come up with crazy things that, uh, like my uh, words of wisdom and today I mean there's 10 words that we don't use very much any, anymore. Now this doesn't go for all regions, uh, you know the south talks differently than the north of the United States. So. Uh, I get this out of the bo bottom of my mind, I drudge it up, and come up with stuff like this. So, that's what the subject is today of this video, 10 words we don't use much anymore. Maybe you do, I still use some of these words, but picture show. You know what a picture show is? Maybe Filipinos may not know, but uh, us old guys know. That's a movie. He used to say, let's go to the picture show. And watch James Dean. Uh, that's an old name from a long time ago. Uh, second one is poke. Now, it has two meanings. Some poke me in the ribs. That means take your finger and poke somebody, an arm or ribs or something like that. It also means you go to a, a place of ill repute and poke a girl. <laughs> yep, that's... Uh, uh, from the movie Lonesome Dove, I'm gonna go and get me a poke. Uh, that means having sex with a woman, not your wife. And uh, so, I'm not going to go poke anybody right now. Another word we use is holler. Now, that has two meanings too. In the Appalachia Mountains in the in the region that region of the U.S., uh, a little small valley in between two mountains is called the Holler, and uh, that means that uh, you yell at somebody. It also means holler at me. Like, uh, give me a call, or, or as if you would, if we're in Appalachia, just yell at me. Uh, record player. How many of you know what a record player is? Uh, certainly not the kids today. That would be something that uh, they wouldn't do or use. Uh, now it's all, call me on the, my cell phone, email me. Uh, another word, now this is particularly an old word used in uh, the deep south and, and uh, uh, Texas too. Larapin. That's Larapin. Uh, and so he, that's real good. And you use it uh, for food too. You know, Larap, it's so good, you're going to Larap, lick your plate. Larapin. Some of you may not have ever heard that word. 
uh, cat house. That means the house of ill repute. Uh, there's a lot of places here in the Philippines that would be called the cat house. But uh, they don't usually use that too much anymore. Uh, you usually say, I got to go to a whorehouse or something like that. Shyster. That's uh, what you call a lawyer that's kind of a crook. And uh, it'll cheat you out of the money. That may still be in use the uh, way you describe a corrupt lawyer in some places, but I haven't heard it very much anymore. Uh, Peter or Pecker. Yeah, that's when I was a kid, that's what the my parents would call me when I was standing there naked, Pecker or Peter. Uh, that's what they named our sexual part of our body, our little Peter, our my uh, Pecker. Don't say that too much anymore. And. Rubber, yeah, we use rubber for our tires and some stuff, but that's a other word for a condom. I had to put get me some rubbers and go to the cat house. <laughs> so uh, and uh, yell, well, yeah, yell at me. Uh, Give me a yell. I don't use that too much in that, like that. So, anyway, that's 10 of them, 10 words that I could come up with off the bottom of my mind. Uh, all I did yesterday, I, I went to, uh, PBI to open an account and uh, got that. Uh, so now I have to go to the embassy in Manila and have them say, yeah, I'm a, I'm a resident of the Philippines and uh, also Social Security to arrange to my check to be sent to this bank and uh, it took a, about an hour and a half, maybe two hours at the most to get that done. But now I've got to go take a trip down into Manila and uh, that's not one of my favorite things to do. But I'll have to get the, I won't have to have uh, transfers from my bank in the, back in the U.S. to here. They charged me $40 for that. So um, I won't have to do that anymore. I'll just get it sent to my bank here in the Philippines. So SO now, Maida has her own bank account and I'll have my own bank account. And uh, that'll solve some of my pro uh, problems, uh, many problems at least, and being able to get my money out of the U.S. bank. Uh, other good news is that Tagai Tai now has a Burger King. It's, I think it just opened up not too long ago. And so I stopped off there and got me a Whopper with cheese. And they made it taste more like the, the Burger Kings in, in the U.S. Uh, so I hope they don't change that. 
actually had real pickles in it too. Uh, so uh, got that done, and uh, that'll that's taken care of. But I just got to make that trip back to Manila. I'll probably stop off at some place and maybe get me a Subway sandwich or something like that. Uh, or, uh, oh, I can't remember that uh, Chinese place. Uh, um, so that's it. It's, uh, we're getting rain, a little bit of rain every day. Uh, it usually starts about this time of the afternoon, and but it's keep keeping things cool, and uh, my plants are growing. Uh, I've got to I have to try to do something about the uh, angel trumpets and getting too many of them. <laughs> so uh, I know they. Cut uh, uh, leaves and uh, flower, and then they just dumped them off in here, trying to as fill, trying to raise my yard up, even out my yard. And uh, now I've got two more uh, big uh, angel trumpet trees in the back. So I got a. Remind them, don't uh, you know? Yeah, to destroy them in some way, or have them taken it to the landfill or somewhere. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, things are good. I'm enjoying myself, and uh, weather's. I guess we're back in the rainy season again. Uh, we had a short uh, dry season this year, and this is a, well, this is a uh, El Nino Nino uh, year, and it's going to mess up traffic. I mean the weather patterns around, so we might get some big uh, typhoons here. Uh, there's one out there now, but uh, I think it's going to. Uh, not land anywhere here in the Philippines. Gonna go up north, I think. Oh, well, that's it. Y'all have a great day. Stay safe. Take care of your family, your kids, and your pets. And I'll see you back here. Be sure to remember to subscribe and like this video and uh, share it with your friends or enemies uh, and we'll see you back again tomorrow.